when I first got asked to do this TED Talk, I jumped at it. Like, literally, I'm like, I got to do this. What an experience. What an opportunity, right? And then as the date drew closer and closer, it was like that looming term paper for that C-plus student, or C-minus, Raj, you have my transcripts on you, right? So it was one of those things where the date got closer and closer, and I, I'm going over material I've probably taught to thousands of salespeople, hundreds of business owners. People have paid me a nice sum of money to share the information with them, and something really interesting happened. Actually, something amazing. Have you ever had a situation where you know you were in the absolute right place at the right time, and you were absolutely where you were supposed to be? And the messages that you were hearing that were being shared with you literally 15, 20 minutes before you came up here were having a profound effect on what you were about to say. So as I'm preparing this material on the four keys to setting and achieving goals, something really amazing happened. I rediscovered my purpose. I remembered why I got into business for myself. And it, you know, have we had adversity? Absolutely. Uh, my business partner and I, we started in a 300 square foot office with less than $3,000 to our name. We were above Al's pawn shop across from a methadone clinic, <laughs> right? We literally went to apply for an SBA loan. They didn't like our business plan. They didn't believe that people treating people like people was going to work. So we literally sat in that parking lot at Key Bank. I'll never forget this. And we looked at each other and we said, now what? Do we go back to working for the organization? We didn't like how they treated the consumer. We certainly didn't like how they treated the employee. Or would we, we strike out and do it on our own? Well, we made a decision that day. And, and this is really one of the four keys to setting and achieving a goal, is you must get absolute clarity. You have to make a decision what it is you want out of life. Because one thing I've learned is if you don't decide what you want, someone else will make that decision for you, literally. Whether it's your peer group, whether it's your parents, whether it's your educators, they'll make the decision where you should be. And at the end of the day, it's up to us. It's not up to someone else. That's the beautiful thing about life. We all want different things. Well, when's the last time someone asked you what you wanted? And I'm not talking about the last time you sat down to get a, a meal at a restaurant. When's the last time an employer or someone in a relationship asked you, hey, Bill, what is it you want out of this experience? I bet we could all think it's been a long time, hasn't it? Well, you have to ask that question for yourself. Because if you don't ask that question for yourself, the one thing I've learned, no one will ask it for you. And so through this process, an evolution, a, a growth, beyond that, a, a, a renaissance for me, and maybe it's because I just turned 40, maybe it's because I, you know, I, I, we've been very blessed, our business is booming. But one thing I know is if you can get clarity, and where do we get our best ideas typically? They're in the shower. That's the only 10 or 15 minutes we have. I'm sure someone has cured cancer in the shower, and then they've gotten out and the cell phone has rang, and then CNN was on, and then they got a, a text message, and all of a sudden that great idea went where? So to get clarity, you have to have peace. You have to have meditation. Second thing you got to do is you got to have action. Massive amounts of action. The way I've come to understand this is you got to have a plan. You know, the people that have goals is great. They're the type of people that have verbal goals. They're the type of people that have written goals. The key to achieving anything is to have a written goal with a precise date that you're presently moving towards. That's the definition of success. In fact, if you take a look at the Wright brothers and their diagram of their plan, there were defense contractors getting paid way bigger money to be first at flight. And the Wright brothers didn't do it for the money. They did it for the passion and the why. See, the theme I keep hearing, and it's actually my last slide, is the why, the purpose. So if you don't have that purpose, and this, is the, this TED Talk literally allowed me to rediscover why I got into business for myself. So let's talk about that action plan. At Univers we literally have a one-year, five-year, ten-year written plan. And there's a cliche. People don't plan to fail. They fail to plan. Well, that's true. So you literally have to take the time out of your day to put it in writing. But the best part is share it with someone you love. The moment you do that, you put yourself on the hook with not only yourself, but the universe. The next thing is visualization. The most powerful word in the human language is the word imagine. The word imagine, you can accomplish anything. 
I had the pleasure of meeting Richard Branson one time, and I'll never forget, he shared a story with my partner and I that he watched the Apollo moon landing at a pub in England after he just got kicked out of high school. And he said it was in that moment he realized anything in life was possible with imagination. There's a beautiful picture of Walt Disney and his, and his action plan, right? He's got his blueprints. He's with his brother Roy. You know, Walt Disney actually passed before he even got to see the Magic Kingdom finished. Well, upon the dedication, a reporter went up to Roy and said, wow, it's a shame Walt wasn't here to see this. And Roy literally laughed at him and said, are you kidding me? Roy saw it, or Walt saw it first in his mind. He literally had envisioned the happiest place on earth prior to making it real. So if you can go there visually, and the, the other key to this is you see it in the present tense. Most people do the someday I'm gonna, someday I want to. Well, that someday is today. Make that decision, get clarity on what you want, and take that action plan. But beyond that, yes, victory. See, this is what I wanted to talk about. See, when I first became an entrepreneur, at first it was to make a whole bunch, well, at first it was to prove everybody wrong, right? All those naysayers, all those teachers, all those people said, you can't do this. Well, we proved them wrong. And then after that, it became about the money. Oh, the money was beautiful, right? But then somewhere along that process, something really interesting happened. We were in Akron, Ohio, and every day for one year, I would drive by big brothers and big sisters of Summit County. And there was a sign on the front porch that read, 85 kids waiting to be matched. For one year, I drove past that sign. That number did not change one single time. For one straight year, it said 85 kids waiting. Well, I did something completely out of character. I walked in there and said, you know what? I think I want to be a big brother. And they matched me with a, a, a kid named Patrick. At the time, Patrick was this shy little seven-year-old kid about this tall, right? Well, when Patrick was seven years old, I said, Patrick, what do you want to do in life? So if you had any dream job in the world, what would it be? So I'd love to be an engineer. I said, well, let's write that down. I said, do me a favor. I want you to imagine you're crossing the stage. You're literally getting your diploma. How does that feel? What does that feel like, Patrick? He's like, oh, it's pretty cool. It's amazing, isn't it? Seven years old. Last fall, he was accepted to Akron University in an engineering program that only took 10 students. <laughs> And he hadn't realized that he had put that in motion how long ago? 11 years prior. So through this process, and I'm so grateful for being invited here. Uh, I'm in, uh, as they say, high cotton. There are a lot of people here a lot smarter than I am. I realize that. But beyond that, this process has taught me that the real reason I got into business was so I could afford the time to mentor because in life, we're not measured. In the end, we're all going to wish we had more time. We're not measured by how many BMWs we own or how many houses. We're measured on what kind of impact that we leave on society. And I believe that one person, truly one person, can make a difference in a generation by learning, through mentoring, how to pay it forward. Thank you very much.